So what I've got is I've got my focusing beams. This laser has the green green focusing beams. Those are the two beams we'll see kind of dancing around on the front surface of it. And the first one goes something like that. You can see it dance a little. Oh, there's the ring. There's a hole. And then you see the bubbles coming off that. Like I was telling him as his eye kind of adjust, that will look like debris <clears throat> coming off it. And you can see it's starting to kind of Get shredded, a little moth-eaten here, as I'll kind of start to kind of break up what what was it, or is kind of a tightly formed uh, density. Now this density is about in the middle, front to back, anterior to posterior. It's kind of in the middle there, which is a good place to treat. The laser will kind of push that whole complex back or posterior a little bit. So at some point we'll kind of do a little flick of the eye and bring things forward. So. <clears throat> Little pieces will break off. I'll kind of go off and chase those back down. Kind of like in the Tour de France, when you get the breakaways, you have to have a few guys go and bring bring them bring them back into the peloton. These are my favorite to treat. I don't get these very often. I wish I did. Because when I'm having a conversation with a patient, I do like to sound more confident and say, this is what I like to treat. These have the highest expectation for satisfaction and most, most efficient to treat. And, and by the way, this Weiss ring is a one-time floater. You don't have more of them. I didn't really talk about that very much, but yeah. The, the, the uh, PVD, the, the membrane that peels away, which drag this off with it, is by definition a one-time one-time event so you don't have more of them okay 10 minutes later and sometimes i just have this nagging feeling like there's still something there but i can't find it and then i'll say well that's good enough for today and then you know he'll come back tomorrow and i'll look in there like oh there it is you know sometimes they just got, kind of get pushed out in the periphery and then uh, when the next day when they come back, it'll be that, that fragment that I'm, I think might still be there. We'll just kind of come front and center and then you just kind of take care of it. So that's why even, even with a very efficient treatment like this, there's just almost always room for some general cleanup. I'm treating some of the leftovers the next day. Yeah, finding fragments, you know, 90% of the game is just finding it, you know. Uh -huh. Finding something that correlates and corresponds well. But everything kind of looks the same. You know, they're either specks or strands or, or membranes. And so, um, just because I see something doesn't necessarily mean that it's the culprit that you're describing. But I'll just kind of, kind of go through and pick at anything that looks prominent. Oh, let's bring it back down here, right here. Oh, a little tiny little something. So yeah. The, the white rings, they do tend to fragment, so, you know, at the end of, of a procedure, I might look through and say, hey, that really looks really good, and then you come in the next day, like right now, it's like, oh, yeah, no, there's a fragment, oh, there's another one, there's another one, it's just little bits and pieces that kind of broke off and got scattered off, and then they kind of migrate back in. Um, 